just to explain this briefly, and what that is realized to actualize is, is concept. It's a new way of thinking. It's from knowing to doing, realize to actualize. It's about the practical application of knowledge and the quest for real knowledge. What is that? How can we find the knowledge within ourselves which lies at the foundation of true empowerment, of personal empowerment? Knowledge, true knowledge, leads to truth. And truth will set us free. Now that is something to be explored from within ourselves, in our truth. And nobody can give that to you, but you can find it from within yourself. And that's the point, how to go about that. How to begin on the process which you, in which you will become aware. Your eyes will be opened to the truth about yourself. And you will become aware not only about how you have changed and the lessons you have gained during your own experiences, during your own path, but you will become aware of what it is you want to change, what it is you want to work on, what is yeah, the change you want to see. And then what steps do you need to take in order to change whatever it is you want to change in your life about yourself? That really begins with that vision of where you want to be. And of course, also it is essential to know about where am I now? Who am I now? Without judgments, without evaluations, just looking at that. Being able to look at yourself in the mirror, where you can see yourself. And there you also see yourself about how you come across to others. And there you can also find about how you create, how you attract your own experiences. How you attract the people in your life. Especially those people who are difficult for you to deal with. And that can be very challenging to, to, uh, yeah, to accept that to take responsibility for that instead of because then when we take responsibility we stop blaming circumstances we stop blaming the people of our life we stop blaming the government blaming our parents our spouses our children whatever is difficult for us we stop blaming those things because ultimately they are outside of our control we need to control ourselves and that is a power we can gain you know, self-control it's to do with self-mastery, to become your own master. As opposed to be having masters outside, you know, be it authority, parents, teachers, pressure, peer pressure, uh, money being a master that controls you. But here you gain control over yourself. And with this power, you can create abundance. Whatever it is you want to create, you can create that. Once you get in touch with your own truths and get in touch with, yeah, what do I want? Who am I? Who have I become? How have I changed? And how do I want to change? Because change is the key. Change is the essence of life, the essential and essential element of life. As is evolution, is change in action, is life in action, transition in action. But the point is to learn how to give that process conscious direction. How to direct the process of our own evolution. Hence, the conscious evolution, the conscious with an R in front of the evolution, the revolution, the new revolution of this world begins, it needs to begin with an evolution from within.